I think we should be good to go. Um, if you have any questions during uh, during any meeting, can, would you please type in on the chat box so that we can take that question at the end of the presentation? But I guess we can go ahead and start. Um, Yeah, good evening, everyone. Um, uh, this is a pre-construction community meeting for East 4th Street and East 4th Street um, federally funded on the street um, bike lane project. City project number 102601. Uh, again, my name is Iskal Sresta. I'm the, uh, the project manager with the TPW Capital Delivery. And Kim Lee Hon and Associates is the design consultant for the project. Today is February 15, 2024. It's about 6.35 p.m. The agenda for today's meeting is I'm going to briefly discuss about uh, project background and its objective. And I'll also talk about existing and proposed typical section. Um, in other words, what they look like today uh, versus what they will look like after the construction gets complete. And we're also going to talk about a project schedule and construction duration. And we'll also talk about the construction funding. And we'll also deliver, discuss a little bit about what to expect during construction. And we'll share the contact information if you need to call city um, now during the construction, who to call to, we'll share the contact information. And we'll take uh, any question that you may have at the end of the presentation. Um, that being said, before I begin, I think I'd like to introduce you to the project team. Today we have, uh, I believe, from the Kim Lehon, the Abhishek Achare, he's the engineer of record for the project. I also see Brandon, he's a traffic engineer with the Kim, uh, Kim Lehon and Associate. Um, Where else? I see William, he's with the TPW um, construction office. Let me see who else do I see. I, I believe I see Chad Allen. He's a TPW program manager, uh, capital delivery program manager. For, manager. I think that's that's all I see from the project team. I, I guess we can go ahead and, uh, and begin. But before that, I believe I see um, Rachel from from uh, the. Um, Council Member Janet Office Director, do you have anything else that that for the for the uh, attendees or the project team before we begin? Uh, no, sir. I'm just here to listen in along with everyone, and we just want to thank everybody for participating. I'm um, in this meeting tonight, so we just look forward to the presentation. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, let's see who else is. Okay. Let me go ahead and dip down into the project. Um, Project limit is project background and objective. Project limit. The project is on yeah, the corridor of the project is in East Fourth Street and East Fourth Street, and the limit is on the uh, um, I thirty five in the west and the Halton Road in the east. This project was initiated in the twenty nineteen active transportation plan, and the goal of the project is um, there are a lot of goals for the for this project. The first one is connectivity. What, what what I mean by connectivity is um, this East Fourth Street. There is already a, a bike lane that comes from the Fourth Ward downtown through the East Fourth Street, which terminates at the Sylvania Avenue. What we are trying to do is basically continue that bike lane uh, all the way toward the um, to, uh, to the Halton Road, and there is already an off street uh, shared use path that connects um, the Gateway Park. It's basically connecting down, downtown. To, to the Gateway Park. And for the bigger picture, says, I don't know if you have heard about um, DFW Discovery Trail System, which connects uh, Dallas downtown to Fort Worth downtown. Um, that trail system goes through the Gateway Park. Anyone that's trying to uh, use a bike lane, uh, be using that trail system, when they get to the Gateway Park, it, uh, this project will act as an alternative route for them to get to uh, to the Fort Worth downtown. That the connectivity is one of the goals. Innovation is another goal for this project. Um, there are uh, three signalized intersections within the project corridor. With one is at East Fourth Street uh, and Sylvania. Another one is East Fourth Street and Riverside. Um, and and next one is at East Fourth Street and Riverside. Uh, East 4th Street and, uh, and Beach Street. 
we are going to modify those uh, signalized intersection um, with the bike signal head, and this is going to be the first in the region, actually. And the city got approval from Federal Highway Administration to use this signal head. What? How, how does it work? It basically currently the, the, those uh, detection system doesn't detect the bike um, bicyclist. With this modification, the detection system will detect not just the vehicle but also the bicyclist, and the intersection will operate operate accordingly. And this is basically innovation that we are planning to use. We we are using on this project and it's first in the region. Uh, the safety is another goal of the project. Um, um, I don't know if you know, in 2017, there was one fatality within the project corridor, corridor of the cyclist and two injured. And we also collected some speed data and that suggested that there, there are a lot of speeding issue in this project corridor um, by doing roadway diet, roadway diet, which we will be calming the traffic issue that we have regarding the, issue, uh, the speeding. And we are also, um, since we are we are also installing um, not not really install we are also providing buffer space between the travel lane and a bike lane, which is going to be much safer for the bicyclist to go through this corridor. And inclu inclusive is another pro another um, uh, goal of this project. Currently, the the, the street right away are used only for vehicle and pedestrian. But by providing on street bike lane, if we are the, the street right of way is going to be used for all mode of transportation, whether by foot, bicycle, or roadway. And another goal of the project is safe and and comfortable user experience. Um, again, um, um, by providing um, buffer space between the travel lane and bike lane, the bicycle bicyclists would feel much safer and will have much safer and comfortable user experience. Um, on, on, while they are traveling through this quarter of the project. And facility tra tra uh, transition is another goal of the project where uh, on-street bike bicycle in, in, is at the Halton Road and there's the off-street um, uh, shared use path continues from the Halton Road to the Gateway Park. We are gonna be installing pedestrian hybrid beacon to provide the, uh, the safe and um, um, transition between the uh, on-street and off-street bike lane. Um, now I'm going to talk about the, what they, the, what the existing section look like versus what they're going to look like after the construction is completed. Uh, we divided this corridor into three different segments. Uh, one is from I-35 to uh, Sylvania, and the next one is from Sylvania to Beach Street, and the uh, third one is from um, from Beach to Halton Road. The one that I am um, share, the one that I'm sharing on the screen is for the section between I-35 to Sylvania. One, uh, the segment that you see on your left is that what they are look, they look like today. What it is is like there is a three lane three lane street uh, one, with one lane each way with a shared left turn lane on the middle, and they, they, the existing also has a bike lane um, as well on this east, uh, on the um, fourth street from I uh, service road to the Sylvania. There is already a bike lane which terminates at the Sylvania. Uh, but once the construction gets completed, it's still going to be three lane uh, with the one lane each way with the share lane in the middle, with the bike lane on the outside. Only different it is going to be is we are going to provide buffer space between the travel lane and a bike lane by reducing the width of the roadway. And which gonna uh, by doing this, the, the, the bicyclists would feel much safer, will have much safer and comfortable user experience while riding a bike through this corridor. And close this up. Okay. Let me go to the next slide. Okay, next segment is between Sylvania Avenue to North Beach Street. One on the left, the typical section right now is it's a four lane, uh, two lane each way. But the once, when, once the construction gets completed, it's going to be two lane, one lane each way, and the bicycle and the outside lane is going to be converted to the bike lane, and there's going to be a lot of buffer space between the bike lane and the travel lane for the for the safe and comfortable user experience. Again, I mentioned earlier regarding a lot of speeding, uh, the 
issue that we we have seen through the data, uh, through the speed data, and by doing this road dieting, it will um, calm the traffic and re reduce that that uh, the speeding issue that we currently have uh, in this corridor. Third segment is from from B Street to Halton Road. Is currently it's five lane, two lane each way with the chair lane, chair left and lane in the middle. But once the construction gets completed, it's gonna be three lane, one lane each way with the chair left and lane in the middle with outside lane converting into the bike lane with a lot of offer space between the travel lane and bike lane. Again, it's for the safer and comfortable user experience um, for the bicyclists as well as, uh, as calming the traffic um, issue that, that regarding the speed that we have today. I might add from a construction standpoint, granted the, um, the markings on the pavement are just, you know, virtually a few mills, but having that um, reflectivity there with the buffer in it, um, not only makes the bicyclist feel safer, but it gives a boundary for the motorists. Yeah, thanks William. Yeah, again, this is the innovation that I was talking earlier, that the three intersections within the project corridor, we are going to be installing signal head with the bike signal. Uh, this is going to, again, it's going to be the first in the region, and detection system would also detect bicycle, not only the vehicle, once it gets uh, up, uh, modified. Once the project gets completed, then um, it will detect bicyclists, and then intersection would operate accordingly. And those intersections are, again, I mentioned earlier, it's the one on East 4th Street in Sylvania that's going to get upgraded. Uh, 4th Street and Riverside Drive, that's also going to get upgraded with this new signal um, uh, innovative uh, element that we're using for the project. And, and on East 4th Street and a bit, bit, bit Street. And facility transition, that, that's what that, another one is we're going to be installing. The red line that you see here is on street bike lane. It's part of our project, which is this is the Haltom Road um, here. And this green line is the off street shared use path. We um, uh, recently installed, I believe it was completed last year. Um, and this is already there. Uh, the off street shared use path is already there. We, we By providing PSB, yeah, they're, they're, they're going to be safer uh, transition between the on-street and off-street. We'll provide safer transition between on-street um, on and off-street. Innovative element I mentioned earlier, um, the, the detection system that's going to be installed at this intersection will also count um, uh, the the bicycle count, also collect the bicycle count, which we can use for the future uh, um, project, uh, for the request for the funding to call, um, and for the future project. Um, again, the signal head is another with three different intersections as shown in the picture here, where the, the signal head is gonna have bicycle. This is again, first in the region um, that we are implementing uh, as part of this project. And transition facility uh, at Halton Road. Um, um, uh, for the on, on street versus uh, um, uh, to transition from on street to off street, from off street to on street. Now I'm going to talk about the construction duration. Uh, contractor will, will mobilize uh, at the uh, last week of this month, and they have about nine months to complete this project. Um, regarding construction funding, it's the, most of the construction funding is from federal fund. It's to, almost like two point three million dollars was was uh, of the construction was from uh, uh, federal fund and and remaining a, a little more than six hundred thousand dollars was from bond fund, city bond fund now what to expect during construction um, um, all the work will be completed during the day the lane closer are permitted only during non-peak hours various daily lane closure is expected and expect delay while lane, um, lane are closed. And at this point, we don't anticipate any detour route needed for the project.
These are the project contact information. If, or if you need to contact city or, or during construction, you can either call William, who is the city inspector for this project. His number is 817-392-8309. Uh, or you can um, contact myself. My number is 817-395-4013. Okay, that being said, that concludes it and uh, that the slides. Now we are open to take any question that you, you may have. Um, can someone please read if there was any question on the chat box? Uh, can someone, uh, William or someone from the community, please read that question? Yes, Abhishek, we have a question in here. Has the water sewer and drainage lines been updated in these four street road sections so the streets won't be tore up multiple times? Can you read that question again, please? Has the water sewer and drainage lines been updated in these fourth street road sections so the streets won't be tore up multiple times? Yeah, we are not tearing any any roadway here. All we are doing is converting existing lane, existing um, outside lane uh, to the bike lane. All we are doing is a lot of payment marking and signage work is happening, but I'm not aware of any water and sewer project that coming near future. Um, I, I hope I answered your question, but uh, I am not aware of any water sewer project in near future um, uh, at this location, at this corridor. Again, we are not, there won't be a lot of excavation work as part of this project. Most of the work is gonna be converting outside lane to the bike lane. We have another question. Will all this work be done in the existing right of way or will easements be required? Yeah, there were, uh, no, most of the work are gonna have, will be within the existing right of way, but when we are doing signal modification, we had um, to acquire some, right, um, not really a right of way pedestrian easement, and we had to acquire some pedestrian easement at the intersection, and that has, that, that easement needed for this project is already acquired, and the contractor is good to go. That looks like that was our last question. Yeah, let's wait for a few more minutes and see if there is if anyone has any questions. Uh, if you have any questions, can, you can, can unmute ask, yourself can, and ask. Can we just ask a question orally? Sure, sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I have. I was wondering about the uh, pedestrian and bicycle access to the east from uh, Altam Road down to Oakland. Uh, does it, I've never understood on the, a couple of bridges in that little section there from uh, Altam Road to Oakland, it says no pedestrians. Uh, I have never really understood that. Does will this affect anything there? Okay, what you are, yeah, I think I know what you are talking about. There, there is no on street bike lane. However, from Haltom Road to um, what was the next street that you mentioned? Oakland, right? Oakland. There is all, yeah, there is already a off off street share use path that we recently installed that goes to the Gateway Park. All you have to do is go through the Gateway. It's not going to be the alignment is not going to align with the street. Yes, there is an off, off street uh, shared use path we recently installed um, from Altam Road to the Gateway Park. And from Gateway Park, there is already a trail system that connects to the Oakland um, Street. Okay, so I, mean, I can share my screen, but. So you have to go all through. You have to go all through. The, the park. Yes, you have to. to yeah, there. you have to go through the gateway park. There is the, the, the because we already had that. Uh, yes, you have to go through the gateway park. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Any more questions? I mean, you can unmute yourself and ask any question that you may have. Did I understand you to say that this is the first in the uh, 
region of this use of these uh, bicycle signals? Yes, sir, that is correct. Yes, so first in the region with the bicycle signal head, yes. And we city got approval from Federal Highway Administration to use this type of uh, technology. Do you think there'll be much of a learning curve? Uh, I wonder how readable those intricate bicycle uh, logos or whatever you want to call them, designs, will be. Uh, uh, is there going to be any public outreach to try to explain uh, that you may start seeing more of these in the future? Yeah, we can we can consider that. Yeah, I mean, uh, and Cog is doing the same thing. Um, but we can, yeah, we can do more outreach. Yeah, you you make a very good point. Um, uh, yeah, I can I can talk to the city leadership here at TPW and see what else we can do to do to educate people regarding this this innovation that we are implementing in this in this project. Um, and when we when city apply to use this technology, the city apply for the entire. Um, uh, I was looking at the, the, the application earlier and approval notice from the FSWA. We apply for the entire um, uh, city of Fort Worth uh, city limits, uh, not only for this project. Um, I mean, that 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 tells me that we we may consider an other, other location as well. But this is going to be the first one uh, within the city of Fort Worth, not only Fort Worth, but also the region. But yeah, yeah. I, I you make a good point. I'll, I'll bring this up and see what else we can do to to outreach and 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 educate uh, people regarding this new um, innovative element that we're implementing in this project regarding the signal head with the bike, bike signal. I mean, it should be pretty simple forward, but it's just that um, instead of solid or gray, green, red, and yellow, it's just gonna have bike, but at the same time, the safety thing, right? I mean, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll take your advice and then see. How, yeah, how I think us in, I think once uh, a few of these are out there or once they've been installed for some period of time, people will begin to figure it out, sort of like they did with the flashing left turn arrows. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, I would hate for somebody to, uh, a driver to think they had the right of way because the light was green and it was really just green for a bike uh, mm -hmm. user and, you know, some something bad happened. So, you know, if you guys can do some outreach in that area i don't know that it'll solve the problem completely but you know it might help a little bit familiarize people with them yeah i agree i agree yeah oh we'll, we'll, yeah i agree we'll look into the option that well, what else we can do is regarding outreach maybe yeah we'll we'll, we'll we'll look into it thanks for your advice Any other questions? Just to kind of comment on what uh, Dan has brought up is I'm sure there will be some learning curve in it because this is foreign. Um, I've lived down in Austin and stuff. I have never seen this signal head before. Uh, so it's gonna be new to a lot of people, but I think the more, um, public service we have about it uh, to say this is something new um, to familiarize the traveling public with it would be the best thing. Um, I don't know how we're going to go about doing that, but I agree there's probably going to be a, a somewhat of a learning curve. Maybe putting, yeah, well, I'm thinking of putting some some uh, video and things like that on the city website for the for, for the project website, you know. Yeah, we'll, we'll look into what option that we have uh, regarding outreach. I think that you made a very good point. Then, I mean, we'll look into it. And William, thank you very much. Is there any other questions? Well, on the section between uh, Riverside Drive and uh, Beach Street going east, I see mm -hmm. we'll have to y'all where it's two lanes. One of those lanes is almost always filled with parked cars. I assume you'll just have to make that no parking. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I okay. I know which one you're talking about. What's going to happen? Yeah. I did not put it in here. 
wherever the people like there are a couple of segments within this corridor that um, that the outside lane is going to be used as a shared shared lane. I think I may not have in front of you right now, but it, the people would be still parking there, park there, but that lane is going to be um, shared between the the park car and the bike that the buffer space is going to be a lot smaller does that make sense right now if you look at here it's a similar uh, in terms of let me go back not this one here four lane with it is outside lane is it still going to be park space right we have a buffer space of six feet um that six feet may be reduced to um maybe two two foot i'm not sure i have to go back and check it it's just the buffer space at, at those location is not going to be as big as it's on in here Six foot, but yes, that that was parking. We can see we we are aware of that location, and we are using uh, if the people are using that as a parking space outside land, and that is still going to be considered as a parking space. But it's just the buffer space going to be a lot smaller at the, at those locations. Okay, because that lane is completely unusable because of all the parked parked cars <laughs> and trucks along there. Yeah, where those houses yeah. are. That is correct. Yes, I mean. But when they park it, I'm, I'm hoping they are going to park close to the curb so that there is enough room for the bicyclist and, and the buffer space. I think I have to go back and exact look at it. The buffer space is going to be, uh, unless um, the engineer for the project remembers on top of their head, do you know at, uh, at those locations what, the, um, what the, the width of the buffer space? Uh, I did not know there was a buffer space. If you're asking I, me, no, no, I, no, no yeah, I was this, asking. This, this is, yeah, this is object with Kim Leon. I believe there's two feet buffer space on the proposed condition. So yeah, on the existing condition, there is no buffer space. So what on that section is basically two feet buffer space, and then like a shared area for the parking plus a bike lane. Does that does I mean? Do we answer your question? I know your concern was that there there are some segments within the project uh, within some location on this between, I believe I, mean, I can go back. Um, the people park their car. Um, they, uh, we are not taking the 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 the, the park the way they, they they are parking their car. All all we are doing is we we are still using that space, but it is going to be shared between the park car and. Uh, and the bicycle is just instead of what being buffer space being like six foot wide, it's just going to be two foot wide at those locations. Okay, we often drive down drive down that way, and that uh, outside lane is just unusable all the time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else has any questions? Okay, I'll take that as a no. If that is the case, again, we are really, really excited for this project, being that a significant, um, 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 the innovative elements that that uh, that part of the project. I'm really excited. I'm hoping all everybody are too. Um, that if there is no more question, then we um, that concludes today's presentation. This presentation is going to be is recorded and uh, uh, maybe a week uh, within a day or two or maybe a week. I'm not exactly sure it will be uploaded to the city website uh, city project website. Um, Again, thank you everyone for joining and any any question you have from now and during construction, just call me at any time. I'll try to answer your question as fast as I can. Thank you everyone.